GRDO is developing an advanced electric gun control system under its integrated automotive vetronic system, IAVS, to replace traditional hydraulic drives in armored fighting vehicles. Powered by a 28 VDC permanent magnet synchronous motor, the system enables precise, stabilized turret and gun movements with improved reliability and reduced maintenance. Building on DRDO's electric gun and turret drive system project, the all-electric design enhances performance in extreme conditions and supports at Barbaric goals through indigenous production for future armored fighting vehicles and main battle tanks. The Defense Acquisition Council approved rupees 5,150 crore to procure Darashakti, an indigenous DRDO multi-domain electronic warfare system. Darashakti can detect, jam and spoof radars, AEWNC, encrypted comms and navigation, using active electronically scanned array or digital radio frequency memory tech, plus electro-optical sensors. It outperformed foreign rivals in trials and will be produced with private partners under Atmanur Barbaret. Plan deployment includes Army Corps and forward IAF units along the China and Pakistan borders. During his New Delhi visit, French Army Chief General Pierre Schill praised Indian-made rockets, loitering munitions and counter-drone systems, showcased an Operation Sindor, signaling France's interest in acquiring them. The 2025 Cross LOC operation, powered by DRDO and private sector tech, demonstrated India's growing Atmanurbar Bharat defense prowess. Systems like the Panaka ER, Nagastra-1, and Bell's anti-drone network impress French observers, aligning with France's Scorpion modernization program and strengthening Indo-French defense cooperation. India's light utility helicopter program faces fresh competition as Bell's 407G Shi and Airbus's H-125 enter bids for the Army and IAF's 200 helicopter RFI. The move follows the collapse of the Indo-Russian Ka-226T deal amid engine sanctions. House Indigenous LUH, optimized for 6,000 meters altitude, seeks orders of up to 400 units but risks delays. Airbus's Vemigal FAL with Tata and Bell's localization offers intensify the race to replace aging Cheetah and Chetuk fleets. A senior IAF official confirmed that plans to acquire five more S-400 squadrons, worth $4 to $5 billion, will not affect funding or timelines for DRDO's Project Kusha, India's indigenous long-range surface-to-air missile program. Set for induction before 2030, Kusha will form a superior defensive layer above the S-400 with interception ranges beyond 350 kilometers. While new S-400 units strengthen coverage in Ladakh and Rajasthan, Kusha aims to rival Russia's S-500 through advanced ramjet interceptors. DRDO is set to enhance the Astra Mk-2 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, extending its reach beyond 200 kilometers under a proposal awaiting Defense Ministry approval. The IAF plans to procure about 700 units for Su-30 MKI and LCA Tejas fighters, strengthening indigenous aerial combat capabilities. Building on lessons from Operation Sindor, where Pakistan's PL-15s underperformed, the upgraded Astra will feature advanced propulsion and guidance, marking a major stride in India's self-reliant missile development. As India accelerates its mission Sudarshan Chakra to build an AI-driven multi-layered air defense shield by 2035, Israel Aerospace Industries has offered its advanced ELM-2040 over-the-horizon radar. Designed for ultra-long-range detection using ionospheric reflection, the radar can spot hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft, and sea targets over 1,000 kilometers away. Integrated into India's two-phase plan, Involving 6,000 to 7,000 radars and directed energy systems, the ELM-2040 could provide early warning across the Himalayas and Indian Ocean. 
IAI's proposal includes technology transfer, supporting DRDO's goal of 60% indigenization under the rupees 50,000 crore defense modernization drive. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has issued a three-year statement of work to outsource crucial electromagnetic interference and electromagnetic compatibility testing, certification, and antenna development for the Tejas MK2 fighter jet. The move aims to accelerate integration of advanced avionics, improve electromagnetic compatibility, and ensure timely prototype rollout by early 2026. Contractors will conduct lap-to-flight validations under MIL-STD-461 and RTCA-D-160 do standards, tackling issues like signal interference and antenna distortion. By leveraging private sector innovation, HAL plans to cut costs, reduce delays, and enhance the Tejas MK2's combat readiness and network interoperability under the Atmanerber Bharat Initiative. DRDO's Instruments Research and Development Establishment IRDE is developing the Optonic Shield, an indigenous electro-optical defense network, offering early warning and real-time tracking of missiles and drones, featuring three sensor stations and a mobile command and control center linked by high-speed fiber. The system uses multispectral sensors for 360 degrees coverage and AI-driven analysis. Equipped with GIS mapping, laser dazzlers, and satellite links, Trials are slated for early 2026 to protect critical forward bases. India's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, is nearing prototype certification by 2028 with full-scale production planned from 2035. Early projections place the program's cost between $14.5 to $18.1 billion, covering around 120 jets, 40 MK-1 units with GF-414 engines, and 80 MK-2 variants using an indigenous 120 kN engine. Each jet's estimated flyaway cost is about $140 million, competitive globally. Developed by ADA and HAL, the AMCA aims to fill IAF squadron gaps, boost self-reliance, and integrate cutting-edge stealth, AI, and weapon systems, marking India's biggest indigenous defense venture yet. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.